Are you in a relationship? <laughs> is important the family in Philippines? It is sacred for me. It is very important because um without our family. Are you proud to post about your boyfriend in your social media? Are you submissive or dominant? But I love being dominant. Dominant. <laughs> It's me again, CZ Kelly, the hot mama. So for today's video, we have a special guest, July Untold Stories. But before we proceed, I would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters. Because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. For more updates. So, how are you, July? I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's our first time to meet each other, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Finally, I came Finally. here in Dumaguete yeah. to meet her. Unexpected. And actually, <laughs> and actually, I, I, I was, I have some appointment here, and then I decided to, you know, to meet July. And I'm so happy that we met each other, you know. Yeah, me too. You know, yeah. I was just a fan, you know. Yeah. yeah, really? Yeah, I was a fan of you. Like, I was watching your video since before. Well, since where did you uh, see me? Wh which interview? Maybe not an interview. Like, I was... It was pop up. Oh really? I'm 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 a recommendation. Yeah, and a recommendation. <laughs> yes. Wow. Because I subscribed to some vloggers here, and uh, my those vloggers are connected to uh, you. Ah, so. that's why. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can you please introduce yourself? So everyone, my name is Jelai. So I have a channel, Jelai and Anton Story. I'm 23 years old, and I'm studying Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management for my second course. And I was a nurse a long time ago. Wow. Really? Yeah, I finished my nurse a nursing associate year 2020. Then I worked in the hospital for one year. Then wow. I had business for one year also, like online. Then after that, I studied again because it was not work very well. Then I studied again. So I'm a student again now and a vlogger. <laughs> Wow! What kind of business? Like online business, selling mannequins, um, clothes. Ah. Uh, yeah, and I got one customer from Sikihor, and that really? was the that ah. was the first time that I traveled Sikihor. Wow! Cool. Last... Business is life. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good. I just know that you are business minded. I am business also. minded because since I was sixteen years old, oh, no, ah. um, I since when I was in elementary to high school, I used to sell candies and some. Food. Same as me. Yeah, yeah. Then so, when I went to senior high, um, I stopped. But when I went to college, because in college so much expenses, so yeah. that was the time that I started. Oh no, senior high. Yeah, sen I thought yeah, senior high, like maybe grade twelve, I started selling st some stuff from Avon. Avon. Wow, Taylor, yeah. you're even Taylor. Yeah, yeah. With then, panties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then when I was in college, I. Um, started doing the networking business. Ah. Uh, so I've been running that for two years. Wow. And until I finished my grad, my um, nursing associate course, that was my source of income before. Oh, that's great. Yes, that, that, that is why, that's the reason why I can't live without internet until now. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and what's your life before uh, when you enter vlogging industry? Um, my life before, like I was, I was just a simple student, you know. Um, I was just um, my mindset is to graduate, yeah. Um, have my degree, graduate, then to enter a maybe to apply a job in the future. Mm -hmm. So that was my that was my mindset. But now you change you, it. You, oh my God, YouTube <laughs> changed me a lot. Like um, YouTube is like one of my stepping stone for my future business. So before I want to be an employee, but now I want to be a boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because being an independent woman is really good. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can yeah, do. Yeah, you can exactly. pay your bills. You can pay. You can buy whatever yeah, you yeah. want. Yeah, you exactly. can save also money. And exactly. In terms of emergency, you have money to get. You have money to spend for the emergency. You know. 
Exactly. I'm able to help my family now. Exactly. Yeah, I saw yeah. one of your videos that you were buying la um, farm. Yeah, yeah mango, it's a, it's farm a, mango farm and coconut farm That's for my great. parents. Yeah. Wow, I'm so glad that you can be able to help with your parents yeah, now. Yeah, if it's not because of YouTube, I can do all oh. those things. Yeah, it's it's your achievements, you know. Yeah, for me, life. it's a big achievement because yeah, it's big achievements. Um, those money is uh, I I I did not expect that I have that money now or those money. Wow. Because you know I was just a, a simple person, like yeah. you know, a simple student without um without earning lots of money because here in Philippines our salary here is very low. No. Even you already have a degree, exactly. but still your salary is very little. Yeah, they should you know they should increase the salary here in Philippines. Yeah, at yeah. least five hundred a day for. You know, like like a, a lady. waiter. You know, like a waiter because I think now it, the it's sales lady it's like for four twenty. I think that's the minimum. Wow, that's really cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We that's it's why we prefer little. to you know like doing YouTube thing because we we are the boss here. Yeah, we're the boss <laughs> here, and we can we we manage our time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, I'm very very happy th too that you I'm know I am entering <laughs> the, I'm entering also YouTube. Yeah, yeah but we're, we're, without your support guys no yeah exactly we can't be here today you know we can't we can't afford those things that we are just wishing for a long time ago yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so um why you decided to be a vlogger um before it was just like um like i love traveling something like that ah. i started my vlogs with a traveling adventure yeah like a vlog a traveling vlog or adventure vlog uh -huh. and that moment i realized like when i met thing uh, uh -huh. my content really changed yeah, because yeah. you know thing is all about um like vlog interview so yeah. that was the start also that i started vlog interview but before I just like because i started um travel travel before same as me yeah. i was doing adventures all the time like but based on my experience I don't get a lot of views about yeah, adventures. No, no. The, 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 my viewers are really interested in into topic. topic that yes, really yes. That like like this, like yeah. interview, like you know, different Filipinas. kinds of yeah. people. Yeah. And before there is someone you know um push me to do the vlog, and I'm so ah. lucky that he was pushing me to do the vlogging. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So he was the one um makes me to start um help me to get started on vlogging. Uh, actually, I don't have any inspiration before to do ah. vlogging, but when many people started supporting me, that was the time that oh my god, you know when you receive a compliment from yeah. your subscribers, from your subscribers it makes really, you happy. It, it makes you yeah, like melt my heart. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, so you, you're happy doing your vlogging I'm thing? I'm very happy because I'm able to help my family and That's also good. help myself to, uh, you know, I have improvements now. I can't say, uh, you can't say consider yourself a poor and a rich, but your life is, you know, you better. There, there's an, yeah, yeah better, better and there's better than before, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so have you encountered bashers? And if yes, why, how did you manage it? Um, yes, a lot of times. Um, before, I, I encountered Filipino bashers on my channel. Mm -hmm. So, what I did was I automatically blocked them. <laughs> yeah, I removed yeah. them. I removed their comments so that some of my viewers cannot, cannot see it. Cannot see it, and you know because if there is one bad banana they or will, one they bad will. mango, <laughs> the, they will also um, yeah. like connect and yeah, and other. Yeah. They will getting bad also because of those comments. They will realize, oh, this is how Jella is like that. And so it, it's, it, it makes you sad when you receive those kind of, com you know, like bad comments. Especially from Filipino. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, you know what, guys? Filipino are very judgmental, you know? In terms of, especially our content is we speak English. Yeah. So Filipinos are really, um, they really mind grammars. Exactly. Because we studied gram uh, grammars in school. But... They really mind that, and some uh, before I got bullied because of that. Mm -hmm. And when I entered blogging and speaking English, yeah. you know, it really helps me a lot also to improve my confidence, yeah. my communication skills, the way I speak to people. I'm not shy anymore. So it really helps me a lot more. For the blogger, I will just ignore them or maybe remove them to my channel, yeah. hide them. Um, exactly. I, I, I also do the same, you know, because. Yeah, that is how we stop them. Yeah. <laughs> We That's don't need to, you know, to reply. Communicate, yeah, we, uh, yeah, yeah exactly. It will, it will make you um, stressed. Exactly. You know, so now, 
How, how, how about now? You don't, you don't any get bashers? I like receive bashers sometimes. Yes, but those are foreigners that are saying nasty comments on my uh, videos and then, especially on my live stream. But I'm so lucky because I have a moderator in my channel now hmm. that um, even I'm not paying him, but um, he really. Um, help me to remove, remove the, those, those nasty, nasty yeah, comments, comments and nasty people on okay. my channel. I'm That's so happy because many people love me. I count yeah. those people who love me rather than the yeah. bash bashers. Yeah. Are you in a relationship right now? I'm single, 100% single. What happened with your past relationship? Um, it wasn't work out, but I'm so thankful that I met them. I met I met him in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm very thankful because I can't. I can't be today if without yeah without him if I did not meet him. So I'm very thankful to those people um, I encountered in my life. So I always believe in saying that everything happens for a reason. I so if there is that, someone yeah. um, there is someone you know leaving. There is also someone will come in our life. So yeah. we're just patiently waiting for the right time. And I'm happy. I'm happy now. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes I can. I can still remember. We cannot forget those things. Exactly. That makes me. That make us sad sometimes. But we need to focus and look forward for the future. Just move on. Yeah, move on. Move forward. That's my inspiration. That's my inspiration <laughs> now is to move forward. Yeah. So, are you willing to date a foreigner? Yes, of course. I'm what willing. about Filipino? No. <laughs> <laughs> we have trust issue about Filipino yes, guys. Guys. Yes. Um. So. How old are you when you start with, uh, you know, having date, relationship, yeah, having, dating? Yeah, yeah. Um, I started my having a dating or in a relationship when I was fifteen. Wow. But that okay. was a formal. Yeah, just a uh, puppy love. Yeah, I think. it was yeah. puppy love, but formal. Like mm -hmm. um, he visited to my parents' house. Ah, that's good. To ask my parents if it's okay that he will court me. Ah. Yes, but my parents was not okay after three months. I. <laughs> Say yes to the guy then without without the permit. My mother. Yeah. yeah, because she they, they, she they were strict. Yeah, she won't say yes. But after that, uh, she trusts us a lot. So, mm -hmm. but they arrange our meeting schedule like um, we will only meet uh. maybe once in a month or twice in a month, but only house and church because we was very young. But we really listen to our both both yeah. side parents because. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Parents knows best about us. Of course, they're always right. Yeah, of <laughs> yes, course. Yes, but if I did not listen those words, maybe I already pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you have to listen what your mom said. You know. Yeah, they knows they knows what best for us. Exactly. Okay, so how is important the family in Philippines? It is sacred <laughs> for me. It is very important because um without our family inspiration. We cannot also do things that we are um, dreaming or wishing for. You know, mm. without your family love support, you can you can't be happy. You're always like, um, there is something missing in my life. Exactly. So family is very important because here we are close family ties. Yeah. Like especially you know, our culture. You know, yeah, our culture. We are very close to our parents. Yeah. Like even the cousins. Even our cousins. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then we reunited. We yeah, do video yeah, yeah. kit together, hanging yeah. out somewhere. That, yeah, that is our swimming in the beach. Here. Yeah. So family is very important okay. because you know what? If there is um there is like a one woman, she don't have family. You know, her life is yeah. no direction. Exactly. Yeah, but some are they have directions because they have a strong faith for themselves, a strong mind. You know that they can achieve those things, but. If you don't have family for me, I don't have direction in life. Exactly. You don't have. You're not. Mo in, in, you don't have inspiration. Yeah, not That's motivated. It. Yeah, exactly. Forward. So, what's your thoughts about those sexy ladies wearing a uh, sexy outfit like like us? Like us. <laughs> Love yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, for those sexy ladies wearing no, you you choose what you want. Just, yeah. Um. If you're happy wearing that, because we are a new generation right now, mm -hmm. we're not in maka makaluma or an old generation that yeah. wearing still wearing the kimono yeah. because the judgment was exactly. very high. But mm -hmm. now since people are changing a lot because many people coming coming here and it's because of changing of culture, you know, mixed culture, mm -hmm. we really change how how the way we look. Yeah. But sometimes um those if you are wearing sexy clothes, make sure that you look. You look good and appropriate, you yeah. know, because my people will judge you because you're not 
it's not good on you. It's not look good on you. But if you're happy, then go why with not? it. Of yeah, course. why not? But make it's your, sure it's your yeah. Uh, you know, it's your body. So yeah, it's, it's your body and your rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but we cannot avoid people. You know, some people are. I'm saying nasty to you, yeah. like they're judging you because you were like that. But if you're happy, then go with it. Why not? Exactly. Just ignore them. Yeah. That's it. How much do you think your husband's earn in the near future? How much? Bilang <laughs> imo how, how much? I'm one how? million. <laughs> no, no, I'm just no, no. I I don't I don't mind about how much he earn because I already learn a lot of lessons and you know if you if me because me i have source of income now mm -hmm. i can provide and he can provide too that is very important just give and it, take yeah give and take it doesn't um how much income that's not matter of your relationship the important of your relationship is trust respect and love exactly. without respect there's no love yeah. and you know he can give you a lot of things that you want, the material things, but he cannot give you the love that you deserve. Exactly. There is no happy inside the house. Mm -hmm. So the important thing here is um, you need to think about your future, your kids. And in order for them to give a better life, there should be a fruitful life. And, you know, there is a love inside the house. Then you can also share that to your kids. Then your kids will, you know, bring that um when they get older yeah, they that's will, very important they will, yeah they will follow yeah. with they we, are already trained yeah, we need to think about the next generation our kids yeah. rather than thinking about our luho our material things yeah, that exactly. we are you know we're praising for no not like that think about your future kids not about just yourself very well answer <laughs> my god are you proud to post about your boyfriend in your social media like the photo photo of your boyfriend are yes. you proud with that uh, um for my ex uh, for my past yes i was very proud to post because um me but, when i'm in love i want yeah i, I want everyone knows about yeah, him exactly it's really fulfilling for me that um everyone knows there's no hiding in yeah. it because if there is something like um you know you make it private um there is like you overthink a lot i don't like exactly. to overthink so might if you have a if you if we have a future you know if we have if i have boyfriend in the future i will introduce him in public i know yeah. especially the first people that needs to know about him is my family and mm -hmm. the first people also that knows about me is his family that's the very yeah. important because other people will, will judge you but your family will accept you exactly yeah and it's better to you know to trust each, trust other. each other yes exactly and do you switch account or you give, you give your your password to <laughs> on my, your on my partner first boyfriend, and boyfriend yes yeah. we will you switch you we switch account oh. facebook that's normal here I but we, i was very young that time you oh, know i don't yeah. have okay i don't have i don't think about what people are gonna say it's like mm -hmm. um we just share accounts because we love each other we did not share account because um we have a doubt that might he has a another mm. girlfriend but yeah. we love each other so we share their account <laughs> that was the mindset i was like you know it was a kid a teenager life <laughs> <laughs> yeah but for me i don't really want to share my uh, yeah. you know password to my partner partner because it's it's my privacy so yeah but now it's just yeah, that you were young at the young, time. But now, um, no, you, I don't prefer sharing because... Yeah, because there's a with, time that you know, maybe if you split together and, you know... Yeah, yeah, when you get older, you have so many things in your life that you need to keep it by yourself. Private, yeah, just private. Yeah, yeah. without sharing it to your partner. Exactly. Like, like a family matter with your other side, but yeah. um, to your partner since boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. As of now, no. But if you are married and, you know, you guys are helping each other, yeah. so... It's okay if you're married, but if not, no. Yeah, so exactly. No license yet. Why? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah.